What's up, everybody? What's happening? We'll wait for a few people to come on. Hey, turn that fan off for right now, Rudy. We'll give it just a second. We'll give it just a second while everybody's turning on. happening everybody instead of me talking to a blank board at first I figured I'd light these up I've been blessed that I still have them they're all sold of course but uh just wanted to kind of show you guys again one more time some of you guys that don't get to see the finished product and of course they're turned kind of sideways Let me adjust that real quick. Hope you guys are all doing good. Thank you, my brother Dio. So, definitely wanted to go through, say what's up everybody. James, brother Martin, and thank you Martin V2 for coming and helping me today, brother. Appreciate it, man. Definitely appreciate it. My brother Rudy here now, of course, Deja. Uh... Brother Fat Lack, Nolan in the house, Brother Lloyd, yeah, Rocky Mountains, my brother E. Eldon, E. Brown, Brother Lan Randy, North Dakota in the house, Brother Chris, man, definitely Chris, that doom buggy looks amazing, brother, amazing, Brother Daryl, Brother Dell, Brother Greg, Brother Steve, man, I want to thank too, Brother Steve, man, uh, Steven Mora, he, uh, this is his board in the middle, the teal one with the purple. He's been helping, uh, well, he's been doing it, uh, uh, shortening the videos into 30 minutes, straight to the point. I just got to do some voiceover, and uh, going to be putting out at least this one and this one. Uh, they'll be about 30 minutes long, straight to the point, just straight to the taping. Uh, me, I'm going to voiceover kind of like that orange one. And of course, let's see here, Brother Dio, Luis, Rudy, Alejandro, Brother John, Jay, my brother Toons, Eli, and I don't want to jack up AJ, Lisa, Linda, Larry, Sean, Brother Steve, Joseph, my brother Rob and Cordell, man, appreciate you guys, man. Minor. Definitely so. Just wanted to kind of show you guys, you know, and this is something too, you know, I wanted a few people to come on. You know, tomorrow's a blessing. Let me tell you, uh, I'm not too much of a news guy. Uh, let me tell you, I mean, I, we could get into it. I haven't really watched the news since like 2020, but uh, at least besides the channels I watch. And, uh, but, uh, 60 Minutes, uh, Rome Hartman is coming tomorrow from 60 Minutes. Uh, he's been wanting to do a documentary on New Mexico lowrider culture since before COVID. And then COVID hit. And, uh, of course, it got put on hold, of course, because of COVID. And now he's back at it. So he's coming tomorrow just to talk to me. And then uh, next Thursday, he'll be bringing the whole CBS 60 Minutes crew out to the house. And then he'll be headed up to, uh, for Good Friday, up in Española. And uh, so it's definitely a blessing, uh, you know, to be a spotlight to be shined. You know what I mean? Uh, definitely a blessing. And uh, 
like I say, kind of wanted to just show these while I was talking so you guys ain't looking at just a solid board. So I, I do, man, I appreciate it. And I'm blessed that everybody here, you know, he'll be able to see these and hopefully uh, these will be here too as well next week when they come and actually film. And uh, of course, who knows what makes it in, of course, when they do, when it ends up on, you know, I mean, they'll slash a bunch of time into literally a 10 minute spot or five minute spot. So like I say, definitely a blessing. But, uh, and tonight is another commission board I'm going to be doing for my brother Vince up in, uh, up in, uh, Washington, Tacoma, Washington. Yeah, I know. There you go. Puts in a few comments about politics. Woo. That's a whole other subject. Let me tell you guys, but I know, you know, the good thing with a lot of artists and a lot of people in the paint world, music world, man, a lot of us are awake to what's going on. I mean, I could sit here and preach about, you know, things that are going on, you know, right now, good is bad. Bad is good. I mean, common sense is out the door. Literally, morals are out the door. It's it's a bucket of insanity. And like I say, you know, we're here, of course. You know, we got to shine a light where the Lord has placed us. And man, and it gets rough. I don't care who it is. There's times, man, it gets rough for all of us. But uh, definitely. So I'm pretty excited. Like I say, brother Tacoma in the house, my brother Vince. But I appreciate you guys, man, supporting let me give you two an update. You know, it's been, whoo, let me tell you, I'm going to quit moving the light and talk just for a minute. Uh, you guys can see those whites. It's just cool how they glow. I'm looking on the screen while you guys are looking at them. But, uh, man, it's been a journey trying to get everything set up, guys. Let me tell you, my daughter's been helping me full time try to get a new website up. The old website right now is down. It's under construction for the new website. So please go, the link is, the link is in, the in the description. It's just going to take you to a dead end, but you can put your email. Man, please put your email. We're trying to get it up. Man, I was hoping tonight to get it up to where, you know, man, honestly, you know, I'm sitting on all this product and it's like, man, you know how it is. You got to make some money. It'd be like, you know, it's like, hey, you got a job, but you ain't going to work. Even though we're working all kinds, but you ain't making no money. So man, we're, we're, you know, we're trying to get it all set up. It's, it's been a lot of work, new website, the shipping stuff. I mean, it's a long story, but we're pretty much almost there, man. I'm, I'm just going to call it like next week, maybe the end of the week, maybe good Friday or, or Saturday, like a grand opening. The website will be up where you can order everything. We've put it to where you can get it in quarts, gallons. I can mix you any house of colors formula as well. And we're talking ready to spray into pints and quarts, you know, that are, that got the, the 500 with the, you know, with the candy in it, you know, whatever primer, sealer, silver, you know, anything but regular colors right now, I'm going to work up to that. Like I say, and I just, I appreciate the support, man. It's been a long journey. I'm, I'm exhausted, overwhelmed. It was a lot more than what I thought. And, uh, but we are pressing through, like I say, you know, even tonight, it's like, man, I, I honestly, I don't even feel like going live, but we're going live no matter what, you know what I mean? So, you know, you know, like I told Martine that was here helping earlier, I said, tonight, we're going to be faking it to make it, you know, it's like, you know, and you, you, you act like everything's all right, but sometimes it's not, you know what I mean? You just got to press through, you know what I mean? And, and this is just me preaching real quick, you know, I've been relying on my own strength instead of the Lord's strength through a lot of this here lately, and, and it'll take a toll on you. When you're not when you're not giving it to the Lord and being like, okay, it's in God's timing versus it's in Rob's timing. Woo! So so like I say, I appreciate you guys' support. And then let me tell you too, uh, hopefully my brother's on here. Give me that shirt, if you would, Rudy. Wanted to show you, you know, I, you guys bless me with stuff all the time. Let me just uh Rudy's gonna put it down on the on the on the pieces here. This is from my brother Curtis. This is his business. Man, he sent me this. It's an amazing piece. Of course, this is the backside. Let me flip it to the front. Really nice colors. You know what I mean? Really nice colors. And uh, he does this awesome tie-dye. It came all professional looking. He's out of Birmingham, Alabama. You know, my brother Martin, too, today brought me a gift, too. The guns for the guns to set in, too. Definitely a blessing. So I want to give him a shout-out. 
Man, like I said, I just thank you. Like even just my brother Vance that uh, the board tonight is for his granddaughter. Same thing with all the lights. Sent me a 12 pack of the lights or a 10 pack. Man, super awesome lights. I got them all through the house, everywhere. Man, they're, you can separate them, so way cool. And just everybody that's been helping out, I appreciate it. You know what I mean? And thank you for your patience. Like I say, I really appreciate it. I'm a small, small, small business guy trying to get going. And let me just tell you, you know, it's it's definitely uh, it's definitely overwhelming. But once it gets going, it's going to be smooth. And let me tell you guys, if you guys do want to order something, my number is in the text. Let me tell you uh, in the in the description. Be like, hey, Rob, I need some Interco Clear. How much is it? Boom, boom, boom. I will get it out to you next week, even though the website ain't up. I will still get it out to you. Like my brother Michael needs some, some silver. I'm going to send him a quart of silver, you know, whatever else he needs. All right, so hit me up. I'll still, you know, if you got questions on the clear, any of that, hit me up. I will get back to you as soon as I can. So like I say, I appreciate the support. The product that I'm going to be selling is super amazing. I could have had some other stuff that would have been easier, cheaper, but you know, it's all about, you know, it's all about taking pride in what you do. So I appreciate you guys. Really. Thank you guys. So, so, uh, boom, we're going to flip on the lights. Let me uh, turn this light off. Turn this light back on. Oh, yeah, and I should have said, man, man, thank you, Chris. Really, brother, that means, brother, really does, man, let me tell you. And I should have said why well, I had all those lined up right here. Should have said that was the last of the series of the hood, the, the, the hood, the hood series. So tonight, I'm going to be doing a little bit bigger of a piece. It's a 24 by, I think, 20. In fact, I'm going to need my... Let me see where I put it. There you go. I'm going to break out with the ruler. Let's see here. <laughs> I appreciate that, Chris. Really, man. That, that blesses me, brother. I, I can't tell you. Don't take it lightly, man. I appreciate that. So this is a 24 by 20 we're going to be doing tonight. And you know what? I never really show you guys. I usually sketch. I sketch. I'm talking like some quick. This is nothing like fancy. You know, I'll, I'll literally sketch out some stuff. So this would have been, just to give you guys an example, this would have been mixed with this, would have been for the one that says blessed. You know, I used part of that for the idea. And there's times, let me tell you, like the orange one. Woo, let me tell you, that one I just real quick... For that orange one, I literally drew these few little lines and then I knew exactly what I was doing. That was for the orange one. And then for my brother Steve's, this is what I drew up for the teal one with the purple. You know, I'm like, okay, you know. And then last week for my brother Eric's, you know, last week I was either going to do this or I was going to do another uh, where we're doing the layering with the curve where it kind of is a half ribbon and i know it's just kind of scribble scratch but you know this is you know sometimes this is how it starts like i say this is kind of what i drew up for last week and let me tell you all of you guys that man i see so many people that that you guys did an amazing job this week of of and even added your own touch to it to you know the one from last week for my brother eric and of course, this week is for my brother Vince. And like I say, just to give you guys an idea, I usually don't show you guys a sketch, but it will. And of course, 
This was gonna be for the longer boards, but I was like, man, let me stretch this out some. So of course, this will be the middle. And we'll have we'll be doing some layering, kind of like that blue board, but its own version. So, what up, my brother? Jeremy, what's happening? Brother John, JR. One of my favorite colors are called root beer. My birthday on March 25th can do a root beer color. Boom, brother John. So, so like I say, and then this one is a board that I had. I had to chop it down. It was a, a four by a 24 by four by four feet. So I had my brother Martin chop it down today, down you know to where it'll fit on the table. If it's up to me, we'd be doing something way bigger. You know what I mean? Let me see if we're pretty good too as far as, let me tilt this up a little bit. Make sure we're getting, so I can see a little bit of the board. There we go, Brian. Just got here. Are you able to ship stuff yet? Yes, but brother Brian, uh, the website right now is down under construction, but if you need something, Brian, you got my number. And anybody that doesn't have my phone number, it's in the description of this. Let me know what you want and I will put it together and get you a price and get you the total and get it shipped out. Honestly, please hit me up, people. That way we can keep the ship moving for sure. So, of course, Rudy's already wiped it down several times. But what do we do? You always want to make sure we never know if Rudy was out eating. Uh, uh, Talk about seeds. What was it? Seeds. Yeah, just some flower seeds. Not even the seeds. If he is eating Kentucky Fried Chicken, of course, he already knows. I've been waiting all day for this light, man. I appreciate it, Rob. So we're going to wipe it with some wax and grease remover. And then this board, most of the boards we usually do have 0 .004 and 0 .008. This is one of the boards I did I think like a year ago, and it's got the Vanderslice mix. It's got the big, the 0 .00, I mean the 0 .015, the 0 .008, uh, the 0 .004 on it. A lot more work, let me tell you. It's worth it in the end, but more clear, more time, more sanding. But it's worth it. And then the colors today, I kind of got thrown off guard on the colors. We got, uh, gonna kind of do uh, three different greens. And I really didn't have an olive green, but I tried to do somewhat of a lime olive green. And we might throw in some brown. And this is gonna be for his granddaughter, which is her sweet 16, Leilani. So I'm gonna be putting that on first. And of course this is cut out with the, with the Cameo. Last week, the, this Vivid worked out really good on my brother, on my uh, brother Eric's board. It's like hit or miss. Sometimes it'll leave glue. Sometimes it won't, it's just crazy. Brother Ted in the house from Yuma. Man, I appreciate the love too, my brother. Really, thank you for the encouragement. Uh, messages too, brother, means a lot, brother. Brother John too. Layer not later. Layer not later. Oh yeah, let me get, uh, what'd you say, Rudy? You wanna know what, what your board made out of? The boards are MDF. So, for all of you on a low budget and you can't afford to buy a bunch of skateboards because they went up on price. But if you do buy them, man, buy them from my brother Tom from uh, Skateboard Connection. I haven't bought any lately because I have a big stockpile of uh, of them here. Uh, I bought like a bunch. I, I forget what you'd call them. Like uh, a bunch of, uh, forget what it is. Like when they're like, get, get, like close out. On ones that like nobody wanted, like that were painted. Clearance? Yeah, like clearance boards from him for the class uh, three years ago. Like I say, man, love the skateboards, but it's like, man, just got kind of shalom, my brother legs in the house. 
And let me, so they're MDF. It's a half an inch thick for whoever asks. John. Uh, let me tell you, John for a board, a four by eight is I think 49 bucks right now. You can get the guys at Home Depot to chop it up for you. And uh, it'll make, man, it'll make, I mean, if you want a variety. So, of course, you know, I took the, and then we're just going to eye it. Hope for the best. In fact, you know what? I'm going to actually lower it down a little bit. Or I don't know. I'll regret that later. I don't want to go right in the middle up that way, but I want to try to stick in the middle this way. But, uh, so a four by eight MDF board, you can cut 12, 12 by 32 pieces. Imagine how awesome that is. That's the boards we always usually do. That's the size that I like to do for the class. You know, we used to do, I think 16 by 24. Nah, it's just like not enough room long wise to do anything. Like I say, a skateboard's cool, but it's like, man, you're limited still. I mean, trust me, you can do some cool stuff, but to me, it's like you're still limited kind of to express yourself. That's the best way I could put it. You know, if you want to express yourself, it's nice to have a, a decent amount of room to do that. You know what I mean? So, boom, we're going to do that. Then we're going to do the border. That yellow teeth seems to be major residue if painted over. It seems to make major residue if painted over. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so I'm going to run. I know, and that is, man, some of that vivid... Uh, I forgot what it was. The cricket one really was leaving some serious residue. And of course, any tape... You know, people always ask me, what's the difference between the vinyl... And the masking tape. And I mean, you know, you know me, guys. You know, for the most part, Brother Joseph, I'm going to get some flake. Some stuff can you meet in Santa Fe on your way for sure, my brother. I'm going to try to bring a whole bunch of stuff next Friday, my brother Joseph. I'll have clears, a little bit of everything when I go up there. And uh, you know me, I always say there's a... Uh, Every tape has a purpose. And if you're going to tape, I mean, I, I literally had a job. This is me being like honest. You know me, I'm pretty honest with, uh, or transparent, I guess I should say. I'm a big liar, but I'm transparent. Ah, just kidding. But uh, there was a job I literally had. Man, this, this car, I, I showed you guys. All my pictures are put up right now, though, but... This car I had, the customer's car, seven years. Let me tell you, that would have been like, man, he brought it probably in 2000, 2002. And didn't, wasn't able to get his car till like 2008 or nine. And let me tell you, in fact, let me lift this camera. It seems like it's seeing part of the wood. Wish I could see if that's a little better. I can see like a little of the wood at the top of the screen. But uh, let me tell you, I had that car there forever and it was taped with vinyl for over three years. And that vinyl came off real nice. Now you see me, we, I don't really use a bunch of vinyl. It depends on, let's say if I'm gonna do something like I did my brother Alameda's car, that roof with the cross on it. That one, he's got like a skylight in his garage. And the garage is not like, uh, I mean, it's not like he has the AC going all the time and it's blocked. But man, the skylight cooked the tape on there, the masking tape. Let me tell you, crazy. It baked that tape on there because I was only able to go like once every three weeks. And last summer, it just baked the tape on there. I had to take everything off and start over and I used all vinyl. The vinyl will come off cherry. I know some people say they have an issue with it. When it turns, it'll, it lifts up. If you ever have that issue, always go back over it with the heat gun, I tell people. Heat gun it, and it will not come up. I, I'm telling you, heat gun it, 
Go over it with a business card, a credit card. It will stay on there. You literally, I, I'm not lying, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating either. You could literally keep vinyl on. I'm gonna go 10, 15 years and it'll come off cherry. What's happening, Alante? Alante, my son's in the chat. Love you, son. He's the one that does the music. If you guys would, please go subscribe to his channel. Literally. Son, if you could put your link in the description. He does amazing music, a bunch of beats. Real cool lo-fi. Some old school, a bunch of different stuff. Man, definitely that's what it's about here, supporting other people. Trying to get the line straight or doing turns. Definitely tricky. I need practice more. Definitely, hey, and Eldon, man, those, I see you're doing it on those little helmets. Let me tell you, brother, that's like advanced class. Those are like a pain in the butt, you know what I mean? So, Linda, what primer would you recommend on plywood if you would not going to flake the board? Man, plywood, plywood is the one where pieces of wood are glued over each other. Man, that's a rough one, uh, Linda. I mean, you could use like the primer I got for sale. You could use, it's just, it's going to be hard to cover where the plywood is. It's been pressed over each other. You know, why are you using the plywood? Why don't you try the MDF? Or is it something that you're working on that, that it, it has to be the plywood? Yeah, definitely, my brother, Dio. Okay, so now we got that taped up. Now I'm going to run, of course, the usual... Yeah, those are really hard to do, my brother E. Brown. Brother Elgin, those, those, man, it's just like the round shapes. I would rather pattern the whole side of a building than do a motorcycle, personally. You know what I mean? All the shapes, I'm just so burnt. You know, when it's all said and done and it's finished, it's cool, but it's like... Yeah, and it just depends on that plywood. I mean, you could even get some primer if you're trying to really cover the where it's pressed together. You could even get some rollable primer. Like my homeboy even said, it's just the cheap stuff I had and I want to practice on before I got one of your boards for sure. Hit me up, definitely. Uh, I definitely got a board for you, Linda, for sure. David, my brother David put body filler on the plywood first. I know that's a good one. That's that's ended up that that would be the right way to do it and body work it, prime it, block it, but that's a lot of work. Sounds like she's just trying to do something on them just to practice. She don't want to waste anything. Just practicing. Okay, so now, like I said, we're gonna be doing this is like chapter two from the layering. You know, we're going to do layers and it's going to, it's going to come down. You know, so many people do this. This is like one of the most popular, probably most done, most done kind of styles, which would date back. Everybody's put their own touch on it. Let me grab just a pin real quick. Got one. Okay. So I'm going to measure half. We're going to come in just with a few measurements. This is showing 23. So we're going to go 11 and a half. I'm going to go do up here. Same thing, except for remove this. 11 and a half. And then I always tell you guys, kind of go back. Make sure. Measure each side. 11 and a half. 11 and a half. Of course, let me turn this some. Um, 11 and a half. 11 and a half. Okay. So right now, that's the only one I'm going to do for a measurement for right now. Let 
Then I'm gonna come in, literally just to space it. I'm gonna come in with just a green. This ain't gonna stay here. This is just to divide the space, just for a second. And what we're gonna be doing, this is gonna be a cool one. It's not really my favorite, but it's like, it's a must know, and it's what a lot of people do. You know, you got uh, so many people doing it and they've done their own versions of it, which is cool. Like I said, trust me, it's, it would be like something that very good to have in your toolbox of tricks. So I'm gonna come in with that one and we're gonna be building our way up. And of course, like I say, we're gonna be doing to where it's layered, to where we're taping, we're doing our next layer. We're doing our next layer on top of that layer. We're doing our next layer on top of that layer. And then we'll spray it and we'll work our way down with our shading. So it'll be pretty cool. Boom, boom, boom. God bless Manor Slice family. I appreciate that, Felix. Really do, brother. Okay. So now, let me see, I'm gonna pick probably, cause I wanna keep enough space. And like I told you, this is what I'm doing, but because I drew it for the long board, and like I say, these are always just quick sketches. I, I know in my head what they're gonna kinda turn out like, even though we can change them in the process. But you can see, and of course this is like me changing my mind. You know, if I could white it out or use a pencil, like I would have corrected it, but I'm not gonna sit there and redraw it cause I changed my mind. But uh, you see how this comes down. Then, of course, I was deciding if I was going to do this coming out of it. And they're going to turn, come down. That one's going to come above that one. This will come above this one, twist, come down. And you got this middle piece. So because I drew up for the longer board, this is where you're going to have to squish it, widen it. You know, imagine, you know, you got the little squisher. Squish it, widen it, shrink it down. You ain't gonna have as much length, but you're gonna have a little bit more spread out. So I'm gonna come in first. I'm gonna leave because I am doing, you know, we did the blue one where we just ended in the points, the layering. This is this one's gonna end up to where we are uh doing everyone is gonna curl like it's a ribbon flapping around, but this is gonna be called a half ribbon. Hey dad, what's happening to all you following Rob and Rudy? Keep them in your thoughts and prayers. They have been a number of bumps. Man, I appreciate that, definitely. Thanks dad, appreciate that. So in fact, I will, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna litter measure, let's measure up. I'm just gonna measure two inches right here. I'm gonna come over here, measure two, same thing. This will be our very first. So I'm gonna come right to that. I'm gonna turn this about. Maybe a little over a quarter of an inch. Same thing over here. So this is what's good. You can crisscross right there. Instead of, you know, you know, we talk about one of these days I'll do where we'll do the exactly both sides. We'll do the, how everybody else does it, where we do the perforated holes or we'll, we'll cut it out to where it'll be exact. You know, I've been showing you guys here lately how to do it. So, uh, I know I actually got a call, that's crazy. Oh, you know what? My ringer's probably. Text, uh, Fern says he's on the live. You have Fern's number or no? 
Yeah. You got him on uh, Messenger, no? I find him on there, yeah. Got you. Copy and share the link, no? So this, you can just turn, do your line straight up to your marking, turn it, you'll end up pretty darn close every time. You know, as close as you can get, man. I definitely appreciate that, Carlin Creations. Definitely, thank you. So, ooh, and then this one here is where I messed up. This, I needed to keep longer. Like, like I did this one. See, not thinking. Because we're going to curve it. Which I could have curved with the other one, too. So, I'm going to do this one a little bit longer. Those are those things when you're not thinking. You're in the mix. Quick little fix. Curve it. That is a thing you want to kind of match your, your curves over there. And like I told you, you'll notice if, if I'm telling you, and even after me doing it all these years, your turns from your left to your right side, man, you're going to always notice a little bit of a difference. Some will be a, a slow turn. Some will be the left side will be a sharp, a sharp turn. So then now with this, I'm going to lift this back. I'm going to lift this back. Once we get going, be a little quicker. And then this, I'm going to space. Honestly, we'll put it, I'll go about a quarter of an inch away from it. Now this, once I get the first couple, then we'll figure out exactly how we're doing. But this is going to be, like I say, we're going to turn. We're going to turn. I'll see how that looks first. Once we get the flow, we get one right. And that'll end up, like I say, turned. Like it's turning, but it's a ribbon kind of flapping. Some people will do, will eventually do a whole flap. I'm calling these a half, kind of a half flap, which you'll see. Let me get this one done. I'll see if I like the way it looks. Like I said, I already got it figured out in my head. But then sometimes when you draw them out and then you tape them, you're like, man, that really ain't the way I pictured it. And I'm sure you guys have experienced that like more than... More than you want to say. That's just something we all go through it. You know what I mean? And then this too. You could. We could literally. Like let me see if I'm going to do. Like I could. Let me tear this here. Just to kind of keep these like. About the same too. I'm just going to put a line across here. Just to give you an example. See I'm already turning this one here. Look at how far this is up from this. So that shows I got to go a little bit farther. A little bit farther out. Like they say, we could get crazy and measure a whole bunch of stuff, but we're not. Like I say, we're going to do the, the best we can by eye and with a few little tricks. Like I say, so I'm going to turn this in. Then I'm going to run this. We're going to see what's going on here. Let me see if I like the way that's looking. Of course, it'll start making sense here in a little bit. See if that's drastic enough. Okay. Hey, which one was it, Rudy? The new blade, the orange one, right? Okay. So now I'm gonna cut this, and of course, in a while, I mean, when we're when we're starting to shade it, we're gonna end up. I still want to make sure this is what I want before I cut it. Man, thank you, Tommy. Appreciate you, my my brother. Really do, man.
I can't say enough about my brother Tommy, man. The stuff he's been working on. He's going to be having a show in Kansas for all those uh, sculptures he's doing. Man, just crazy, phenomenal. We're talking, man. So let me make sure. I might want this to go out a little bit more. Once I get the first one figured out, then we'll go from there. So I'm going to lift this back. Boom. Okay. Let me see here. And then I think I'm going to move these a little bit this way. Put a little bit more. Yep. And then same thing with this one. And then back to this, you could measure to get the distance pretty good in that. I mean, you could use, I mean, we could use so many different things if you're trying you know, to do, you know, we could come in and be like, okay, it's going to be about there. You know, even though there's that little gap there, but now I'll stick this kind of up against this just for like a quick eye. You see, I got that little bit of space there. You know, we can just run real quick or you can guess it. You know what I mean? Like I say, boom, boom. Okay. Hey, thank you, my brother Fern. So I seen you tried to call my brother going going live right now. Definitely, I will hit you up after my brother. Huh? For sure, he did. He's on. Yep. Hope you're doing good, my brother. Brother Fern, it's on the the chat right now. He's uh holds a lot of records for for New Mexico for. For hopping, for hydraulics, let me tell you, lots of belts. And then you know what? I know a lot of you guys know the video, uh, Wet is Candy. The one with, uh, and I don't even remember if it's a 68 or 69. But uh, I did a 68 and 69. It's on one of the YouTube channels. I mean, on the channel. Uh So we're gonna do that there. Now the next one, we are gonna layer up. So cause I have that one going right through the middle, I'm gonna do that right away. In fact, let me come in with the eighth inch. Coming right here, coming with the point. Yeah, 67. Barking spiders. Barking spiders. <laughs> oh no, that's funny. <laughs> of course, this would be that one that I drew. The very first one will come in with the point there. In fact, this one I'm going to flip to do that one. If I can do it, you can do it. Shaky Jake. So we're going to come in. That one there. I'm going to cut this right here. Cut this here. And now we'll start layering down, I should say up. I should have almost done that with the eighth inch. All of those with eighth inch. We'll go back over that, but watch. Okay, so our next layer is going to be
come in with this one here. Break out the eight inch free tape. Now this one, I'm gonna come, in fact, I will, let me, just for a quick, same thing. In fact, let me use a three quarter inch. I'll kind of come up that there. Trying to redo a caddy that you did a long time ago, an orange convertible my father-in-law gave <laughs> to us. You want to redo it. You know, John Dowderado? Yeah. Oh yeah, that one. I know if it's an Eldorado, man, I'm, I remember, I think I did part of the, I think Speedy did it and then I did the sides, I think, on that one. For sure, I'll definitely hit you up, my brother. Okay, so I'm just using that for a measurement. Mm -hmm. Huh? So that's it. Yep. I'm gonna keep this tape a little bit longer. Same thing over here. Yeah, holy Moses, I, I remember, uh, Speedy, he had that up there. He needed to get the job done real quick. He asked me to go up and help him. So he did the roof. I think he did the, the trunk and the hood. And I did the sides. That was one of those ones, too, that had been at his place for a minute. Man, that would have been, man, holy Moses, like 2001. Something like that, probably. Let's see. So now same thing, I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna make a measurement, I'm gonna take this off. We'll break out the little ruler. So we're gonna come up about, I'm gonna say, I don't want it to go too far up. I'm gonna go six. That almost might be stretching it. Six. Boom. So now, same thing, I'm gonna come. Let me see where, I think that's it too. Through, back over. What's happening, John? How you doing, my brother? I can't hang tonight. I'm exhausted. Love you, my brother. I know Florida time. You're already what? Whew, 11 o'clock. I feel you, brother. I didn't even almost feel like doing the live tonight, but man, I, I'm trying to stay consistent. I appreciate you guys. So this one, same thing. So I'm going to stretch this past, and in all reality... Kind of like I told you guys, let's crisscross to here for the measurement. We could have did a measurement from here to here, but I'm going to do this. Oops, let me go a little bit longer. Right where I measured, and then I'm going to come to right here. And that should give us a good enough measurement here to here. So same thing here. I'm going to turn this. Same thing here. I'm going to lift this back a little bit. Same thing. I'm going to come in.
curve this a little bit. I can tell you guys, if I can do it, you can do it, how shaky I am. I'm going to curve that there, and then we're going to come back. Go to about right there. I'm going to come back right here. We're going to come down about right there with it. In fact, on that one, you know what, on the inside one, I'm going to use a quarter inch. We'll use a quarter inch about right there. Let me see. Same thing, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Okay. It was rough Friday morning last week. I mean, I bet you, man. It has been. That's what, man, you know, I need to try to do something. How do you put it? It's like telling me to not do as much. It's hard for me to, to chill out and calm down. And of course, you know, we were doing, you know, because I've been doing these commission ones, I try to do the best I can for you guys. And it's, it's you know, in some of those other videos where I'm just showing, we're demonstrating stuff. It's a little easier to cut it short, you know, an hour and a half video, two hour video versus, oh my goodness, three and a half hours, four hours. So now this, I'm cutting here, cutting here, cutting here. And of course, this is gonna be layered. That's layered on top of that. We'll shade black there. It's gonna keep on going up. We're just gonna keep building up. What up, what up, Steven? Okay, let's see here. So next one, I'm gonna go one more. I'm gonna do right here. In fact, let me, I'm gonna put that one right against the edge we'll go right in between so i'm going to go about right there about an eighth of an inch i know we are laughing about that my brother oh my goodness that i'm serious too that's uh you be egging me on to fill in those spaces and you already know I'm going to do it anyway, but you know what I mean? It's like, nah, fill it in. And I'm like, hey, I'll leave a little space. Woo. Zip is time. Boom, boom, boom. Brother Lloyd, you definitely much appreciated, Robin Rudy. Thank you, Lloyd. Appreciate you, man. I know it was cool. Randy was posting the class today and yesterday, uh, the Denver class. Man, giving some love, you know, just, uh, you know, on how the class is set up. We try to, man, try to go above and beyond, man. Brother Christopher, good afternoon, he said, brother. It's looking good. Okay, so now we're going to do the next layer up. So back to that, I'm gonna try to keep, this is the only one gonna go against the grain, this one. The rest are gonna have the same angle all the way up. And like I say, you can pretend this is a hood or a trunk too, a roof, you know what I mean? Like I said, I drew it for one of the longer boards, but it would have had to go sideways just because there's not enough room. So now, because I am gonna go this angle, you know, just, just to keep it measured pretty good, like I say, we will, let me see, and just because of space-wise, in fact, I can crisscross through there, so I will. So I'm going to put that there, just to keep it all lined up. So, 
I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna come in with the green 3M. What colors tonight? We're gonna do a, uh, what's happening, my brother Juarez Customs. Have you ever painted lowrider model cars? Whew. Let me tell you, brother, I would go insane if I did those. Let me tell you, we got our brother uh, Small Scale on here. Uh, that's what he does. He has a YouTube channel. Man, I just, I have I have a RC car that I've had for a while. Somebody wants done. Everybody keeps asking me about the RC cars. Man, I would go nuts, honestly. And the colors tonight are going to go kind of a lime green, olive green, organic green, another green, possibly some root beer brown. So I'm going to come in against this. Same thing here. Lined up with that. I'm going to keep the tape a little long. Same thing here. Keep the tape a little long. Because I'm right-handed, this side's a little easier to tape. Versus this side, even though kind of works out the same. So there we go. I'm doing that. Then, now that I got that measurement, I'm going to tear this off. And that's just to kind of keep our little eyes. I'm going to tape this up here so we can use it again. No cockadookie brown, though, he said. That's funny. Cockadookie. So, now same thing. So this. We're going to come all the way over to the edge here. So that'll be the curve there. Gonna swing that around. Same thing over here. I'm gonna lift this back a little bit. I'm gonna swing that around a little bit. Might need to turn a little sharper, like I say, from left to right. Sleepy McKelperton. Okay, we'll curve that there. You see how this looks over here. Okay. How that looks. And then I am going to do same thing. I will do um this green one here, but let me see. Okay, and I'm turning that. Except for, you know what? Let me turn space just a little bit more. Right there. We'll use that for about a measurement right there. And same thing I'm gonna cut. So this is gonna look like it's just curling, curling back. I'm gonna call them a half. It's a half curl. Cause they could be a lot more curled. Boom. Then this is gonna go underneath this. So I'll cut that little bit out. Same thing here, we'll cut this. So that's gonna overlap over that. Same thing here, cut this. We're just trying to do something different every week. Some stuff similar. Always in the abstract pattern world. 
what you could call it, lowrider patterns, you could call it, you know, we're just doing designs. I do want to try to do real soon uh, some 80s mini truck stuff. That's really what got me started was the drips, the graphs. In the late 80s, I did my sister's Volkswagen, brother Victor's uh, mini truck. And then right away, I got hooked on the lowrider. And then all that stuff faded out anyway. So as you can see, this is, I know it's kind of hard to tell right now, but this is going to curl, of course. This is curling on top of that. And of course, this one here, forgot I, it's meant to turn. So let me... going to turn about right there. Okay. We're just eyeing it. Kind of go back and forth, see how your your space is. Boom. Laugh out loud, my brother Vince. Brother Henry in the house. Looking good, little buddy. All right, yeah, that's probably, I don't know if that's my dad or my daughter. I know my, uh, Deja went up to go eat at my parents. <laughs> <laughs> she probably, uh, Play? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're doing a late St. Patty food uh, today, uh, corned beef and cabbage. Okay, so now you can kind of see that coming. That swoops down. Okay, next. So now it's just layering, building up. So I'm going to uh, the next one. Okay, so let me get my spacing where I want it. So we are going to go about right. So you know what? I'll just actually use, let me see right there. We're going to go there. So I guess I am going to go against the grain on the, on the turns. So now let me see. Come off of this one to that one, watch. So let me break out with the J-Tape, eighth inch. Let me run, I'm gonna do this. A little extra length right there. I'll go probably about a half inch away right there. Same thing here, keep a little length. This will tell your spacing too. You can see here, even though I'm gonna cut it, you got about a quarter of an inch here, quarter of an inch, about a half an inch here. Like it's not, not too far off on just eyeing it. And then, uh, I'm going to go, let me just see real quick on this. Okay, so that's gonna turn there. And then, this is the deal, you know, when, you, when you're stretching it versus it being real long, the way I drew it was real long. And then with us stretching it out some, sure this is what I want to do right there let me 
see. So I'm going to bring that one back under. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Let's see here, there. Okay, so I'm going to go that way. Get my spacing right here. My brother Juan salutes from Laredo, Texas. Two miles of tape tonight only. My brother, that's funny. Brother Mr. Wynn, what's happening, my brother? So let me get... So right now I'm struggling with, because we did, like I said, instead of it being long compressed, had to smash it and stretch it. There's a lot of little changes that gotta be made. And then same things don't look. Sometimes the way you drew it out, so it's like you gotta kinda make up for it in other ways, stretch it, fit something else in the space. Of course, this I mine too, just for a minute. And back to that, you could come in, you could come in and measure it, or you could go in even with the orange tape. You could kind of go, okay, that's two and a half. And that's two and a half. That is actually pretty close. Of course, down here, it slims down because of course, that piece overlaps over that. But let's see, two and a, yeah, that's actually, wow. Not too bad right there, let's see. So, so now I'm going to swing this one around, but you know what? I am going to, this is where it will help to make a mark. So I'm going to swing this one around over here this way. So I'm going to go to about, let's do eight and a half, eight and a half. Eight and a half. I'm gonna crisscross it to right there. Okay, same thing over here. I'm kind of bend about right here. And at the same token, I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep all, I'm trying to keep all of these about the same tour. This ain't cockeyed up or too much down. We're trying to keep these turns going pretty close the same. Same with these ones. We're trying to keep them about the same. And there's no rules to that. You can do whatever you want. But uh, that's my object for tonight is to try to keep those. And I'm going to turn this one here. I'm going to put it over this. I'm going to tear this one just for a moment and keep it over that. And then I'll do the twisting after that. So same thing. I'm going to come right here. I'm going to turn it right here. Man, Brother Lloyd, I appreciate that. Really, my brother. Jesus Christ over everything. Thank you, Jesus. Brother, and I bet that's my brother, John. Appreciate that. Thank you, Lloyd. Really, I appreciate that. Don't forget to hit the like button. Yes, please, if you guys would. Hit the like button. Subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Okay, so same thing here. I'm going to turn this. Kind of whip that together. Same thing here. Try to keep those turned about the same. 
Like I say, I'm telling you, if you were to measure your left and your right turns, you'd be amazed at how different. It's like the left will turn a little more sharper than the right. Vice versa. So, boom, I'm turning that one. I'm going to do probably... Uh, let me go about... In fact, let's, on this... Let's see. I'll put this real quick to do this. I'm going to go just a little bit of distance away from it. And then, in fact... I'm gonna probably go still a quarter of an inch away from that on the turn for that. Same thing, about a quarter of an inch away on the turn. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Oops, pull that back. Of course there I'm pulling the this little piece. I cut this one here. Cut this here. If you guys ain't seeing my forehead in the way, I'm trying to reach over there. In fact, let me pull this down just a little bit. Let me pull this off. Same thing. Pull the turn here. Like I say, you would call this layering. It's one pattern's gonna sink down into another. Next one's gonna go on top of that one and sink down into the next, and you just keep on going. Perfect for a hood, a trunk. Like I say, a lot of people, a lot of people do this. Personally, me myself, this is like overdone a little too much. Where it's like, man, I don't know how to put it. I mean, trust me, it's something you should learn how to do where you can get it under your belt. And so many people have done so many cool versions of, you know, the actual layering. Okay, so, BC in the house. Man, I appreciate it, Dave. Thank you for the love, brother. So, okay, so next. And like I say, I'm going to show you guys again, like one more time. This is what I drew. When it pops up on there, let me move these. So, of course, this was supposed to be on our normal 12 by 32 inch board. And I wanted to do a little bit bigger board and spread it out so you see what I have to do crunch it spread it out you know you got some some you got some pros and some cons personally I like how it was stretched out but then you don't have as much room this way but like I said I kind of like the way even that drew out man brother Vince I appreciate you brother okay so now we're gonna do our next layer Here we go with the green. So same thing, like I told you, we're trying to keep all these ones going about the same because a lot of times it'll turn a little bit farther down or go a little bit farther up. Just my OCD, I don't know, and there's no rule to it. I mean, if you do that, I mean, I mean, what's, you know what I mean? That's, it is what it is. But to me, it's like, I want to try to get them sometimes to where they're kind of, you know, and it still might not be super perfect. Like, see that one's the spacing because we did kind of use the, the spacing for that. So now I'm going to go up again one more time. Well, not one more time, but. So let me see my exact attack for that one. I got that there and it comes up through there. So let me. Because we are, we don't have that much space. So I'm going to do, let's do, Brother Dio, man, I appreciate that deal. Man, you guys are awesome, man. I appreciate it, really. I'm telling you, it's been a day, it's been a week, it's been, 
Been a good one, man. So I'm going to do that there. Then I'm going to come back, same thing, get a little bit more space. This is just for us to kind of get a nice little spacing. It's an easy way to measure it. To get your spacing right. So, so I'm gonna go right there. Let me see here. Yes, definitely see you on Good Friday, my brother Dio, for sure, brother. I haven't missed, I haven't missed one year except for a COVID. And I can't even tell you, brother, it's probably been, I'm telling you, like probably almost 30 years or more that I've been up there every single Good Friday. Okay, so, boom, 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 let me see here. We got the eighth inch, let's see exactly. So I'm gonna come up, let me do this first. So I'm gonna just run this across here so we can remove that. Imagine all that tape just to get a, a good measurement, but it's a, you know, a little trick for you guys. Like, you know, I mean, you could guess I, it, but if you can just put a piece of tape real quick there to like try to get it a little bit closer, do what you got to do. over here. Let me shut this bar real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Are you doing everything on the fly as you go? On this one, usually I am my brother Leo. Let me tell you, this one I actually drew out and the, the last few I've, I've drew something up real quick. Almost everything you see on the cars, I don't really draw it up. Some some I do and some I don't, but most of it is just start taping. You go with the flow. If you don't like it, you'll take it off. You know what I mean? Yep, save the tape to reuse. And uh, so there is times where, uh, I mean, I just literally go with it. But a lot of times they'll end up a lot of tape on the floor too. So now this one, I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna go prop, same thing. If you wanna, if you wanna go in and measure, I'm gonna go just to show you guys. Let's see. So of course this is gonna go off the end of the board. So I'm gonna go about quarter of an inch here. It's about three quarters of an inch there. So same thing on this side. Try to eye it as good as possible. You know, you just kind of move it. You're like, okay, boom. That's gonna be it about right there. And is it perfect? I mean, man, there. I mean, back in the day, everything was by eye. And for the most part, it looked pretty good. But if you, I tell people, man, you gotta think out of all those thousands of lines on that car, man, you go and start breaking out a measuring tape. I'm like, man, that's insanity already crazy in the first place let alone trying to break out a measuring tape low rider royalty boom 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 okay so so same thing i'm going to pull this up let me do this one like i say these are going to run off the board anyway but we still want to get it as good as possible. So I'm going to run that off the board. I'm going to swing this in. Right there for a second. Same thing here. Let me pull this up. Let me swing that out. Same thing. A little tighter. Okay. And then now this, 
here we still got to do this here so i'm gonna come in i'm like let me see do i want to pull it do i want it to swing about there do i want it to swing a little bit right there like i say my drawing is a little bit different just because of space wise I think I'm gonna stick with that right there. That's about three quarters of an inch away. So same thing here, come right here. About that three quarters of an inch. Shaky Jake, if I can do it, you can do it. Like I told you guys too, man. Hey, thank you again, Vince. I appreciate you, brother. Like I told you guys too. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Let's see here. Okay, so I'm going to chop this here. Boom. Same thing here, this one's gonna swoop, layer down, and then this, too, we're gonna pretend like this turns and comes down, so I'm gonna still put a little bit of a, I mean, you could fake it, turn it, imagine that it's there, imagine that the turn's there, you know what I mean? But I am going to pretend like it does turn there, and we'll do maybe, and I'll go maybe right in between all of this, kind of in between these. So we'll do that real quick right there. Even though it went off the board. Then same thing down here. This is gonna go underneath that. Which of course you'll, you'll get to see once we start spraying what we're trying to achieve here. So there we got that layer. And then I'm gonna do, we'll do another one, same direction. So we're gonna keep all these going the same direction, but we'll drop it down just a little bit. So I think I got that one for there. Let me see. And then we'll do, we'll drop it down about right there somewhere. Got a couple little deals right there, watch. So same thing I'm gonna do, cause we are running out of space this direction. So I'm gonna run this one about right here, all the way across. We'll do this one too, same thing. All the way across. We'll break out with our tan. So I'm gonna do, leave a little bit extra length here. Same thing here, just leave a little bit there. I'm gonna come over here, leave a little bit of length across here. Leave a little bit extra there. So I'm gonna take this off right away. Stick it over here. This is for my brother Vince's uh, granddaughter, Lilani. Sweet 16. Okay, so then this, now we're gonna layer and hope I got it right, Vince. Is it your daughter or your granddaughter, my brother? So now this, I'm gonna turn probably, in fact, you know what? To do this one easy, 
We will. I'm going to do the same thing. In fact, I'll use the piece I just had just to get our turn right. We'll lay the inch there. Same thing here. I'll move this back a little bit. You Brown, good night. My brother Rob, definitely Eldon. Appreciate you, my brother. Keep up the work too, brother. Don't be discouraged. Keep it up, brother. You're doing some hard stuff. Man, definitely. Man, those helmets are a pain in the butt, bro. So you get those down, you man, boom. And not all the phones pick up the flake. You never get to see it like it does in person. Certain phones pick it up dancing real good and some don't. Have a super good night, my brother. Thank you for supporting and watching, brother. Appreciate you. Brother, from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, so it is your granddaughter. If you don't mind me asking, Vince, how old are you, my brother? Okay, so we got that layered there. We got that turned in. Now this one here, I'm trying to go, which I have it on my drawing all the way over here, but I'm, I don't, man, let's see. Honestly, let's see. So same thing, I'm gonna go. Astro Castro 49, night everyone. Okay, so same thing. I'm going to lift this back. I'm going to lift this one back a little bit. And I'm going to go back to this. If you want to measure, if you don't, I mean, I get good enough. It's going to go off the board anyway. But uh, I'm going to go about three quarters of an inch away. Same thing over here. And same thing. You could rest a three quarter inch right up against it if you wanted to just to eye it real good but if not then same thing just gonna kind of turn because that is gonna disappear right there so simple enough boom right off the page right off the page right off the board that's funny off the page i'm 49 all year 49er all year <laughs> that's funny That's crazy how time passes by, man. That is crazy, honestly. A granddaughter that's 16. Man, so you definitely, you had, uh, you had kids pretty early then. And I didn't have any kids till I was, uh, I think I was already 24, 20, 25. Okay, so I'm gonna cut that there. Then same thing, we could, right here, we could pretend that, but I'm not on this one. You know, to the turn. Of course, you know what? I better not do that. So I'm gonna still continue with that. I'll go about right there, like we got the turn going. No, it's just gonna end up that little piece. Same thing here, I'm gonna space about right there. I got that one. Just for that right there. So we're gonna pretend that's turning up that way, even though it's going up the board. Let's see. Smash that like boom. Yeah, please. Yep. Hit the like and subscribe button, man. Appreciate you guys. And let's do, in fact, you know, I still need to send out. Please forgive me those that did win the giveaway. Man, we've just been so crazy. Trust me, you will, will. I'm trying to think. Uh, I know Rudy's got them wrote down. Let's do, uh, let's do a uh, Vanderslice shirt. Let's see. I remember Deja playing for El Dorado. Yep, sure enough. Yep, I knew she was your daughter once I heard her last name. Yep, you got it, Dio. Yep, 
Yeah, she's still she's still a little baller. She uh, plays for the bull snakes. She plays in a bunch of stuff. Keeps her real busy. A ladies league, the county league, the bull snakes. The, she still be playing. Man, I see the teams up there too. Uh, uh, I follow brother Ben. I think he runs the boys and girls club up there. Man, it looks like they're doing really good. I just see him posting all the time. Uh, what was I going to say too? Uh, oh yeah, so let's do a Vanderslice shirt. Uh, closest one in between 85. In between 1 and 85, Rudy's going to write the number down now. Go ahead and go, everybody. Closest one gets a Vanderslice shirt. And I'll throw something else in there too. Brother John... Okay, let's see here. This is our basic outline here. Let's see here. Okay, 338, let's see. Okay. So, I'm trying to think if I want to even keep this middle line. This was just to be our guide. Let me see though. Come on, eighty five. I'm gonna say, okay. I can even see this. See this, this turn here. Here's that right and left thing swings out more. This one goes. It goes this way. It's crazy, I tell you. You would think with me, I've been doing it all this time. It's like, man, it's just like, I don't know what. This is crazy. From left to right. It's an optical illusion. Psych. Okay. Let's see here. And let me do... I'm gonna come in. Same thing. Here's that left to right thing. It's all optical illusions. Let me turn it this way, even though it's obvious. But it's up, it's wild. Seven, two, boom, boom, boom. Yep. This is where you can tell right away too. I can see that my one line, of course, where did the green go? other one the skinny green oh it's underneath oh, that's just got it so then now this one watch i'm gonna tell that that one's way well actually no that's crazy that's a good one i thought for sure that was gonna be over some thanks lisa appreciate it brother steve the more you mess with it the worse it gets i know you already know huh steve that's funny it's like leave it alone just you know how that goes. That's like I was telling you that that one night when I did quit, when we were doing that blessed one, there's sometimes, man, you have no business continuing. It's like, man, just stop. Get some new eyes tomorrow. You know what I mean? There's those times where it's like, man, your best bet is to 
give it a break, have some fresh eyes again the next day. And it's like the next day you'll come in, you'll be like, oh yeah, woo, that's hurting. to lift this up right there boom I'm going to pull out or not trying to waste tape I'm gonna put this over this same thing boom same with this piece so for this one ended up sticking to each other slightly but that's all right tapping fingers that's trying to figure out what to do i know steve editing the videos it's funny chopping down four and a half hours to 30 minutes which is a blessing i like i say he's uh the last two videos he chopped them down i just got to do some voiceover and it'll be definitely shorter right to the point even sped up a little bit be like, hey, okay, I taped here, boom, boom, boom. Then we taped this, and we got this, and we're using a quarter-inch tape. You know what I mean? Blah, 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 blah. That way, people don't got to go back and fast-forward through a bunch of craziness. So, let me see. I'm trying to add right here. Let me see. Let me just see real quick. Bear with me in my moment of thinking. Yep, <laughs> that is funny. The, the taping fingers, he is telling me that's funny. Okay, what are we doing here? That's the, okay, what's our next move? Finger tapping. So I'm just trying something real quick. Let me just see real quick here. new shirt let's see man yeah and, uh, definitely i got uh same thing too i got a bunch of new colors uh for the the you know i have like the teal you know the vanderslice logo you know tinted teal i got purple of course you know the ones that i've had but i, I think i got brown i got green um uh, quite a few different then i got even Corey right now is working on a new logo for the paint supply which uh sorry i'm like still trying to so let me go right through the middle this is where i'm trying to figure it out everybody so
you see here. What's your number, Rudy? 5'8". 5'8", 58, 58. He's 58. 58's the winner. What is it? All right. Holy Moses. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Brother Steve. All right, man. He even put on their new shirt. That's funny. <laughs> that sounds rigged. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Sounds rigged, everybody, personally. Okay, let me do this way. Come on, get out the way, little buddy. Little buddy. Okay, cut this right here. Okay. I might be all right with this. Let me do this. Put it down here. The problem is it looks like a bigger space there. Let me do this. Let's see what we're working with here. Up there. Okay. Boom. And then same thing here. Got. Let me come quite a bit in here. Let me. In fact, let me do this. I'm gonna lift this back just a little bit. And I'm going to, same thing here, go to about right there. I want to get those stuck though. And then I'm going to just kind of get a line of one of these. So I'm going to go about three quarters of an inch there. Same thing over here. So about three quarters of an inch away from that. You see how that looks. Curve that down there. Boom, same thing over here. hanging up there and getting stuck okay so that's pretty much let me tape this for the i'm gonna add a few lines to it here and there so you guys get to see that pretty good today it's crazy how the channel the the camera started how do you put it it's like up on the top of the screen you can see where the wood Rub the phone. It's got a mind of its own, which side it wants to pick on the phone. Like we had those problems before where it locks in the wrong position. So let's see. So I'm gonna come in and of course we'll add some, some stuff. But uh, let me go in. 
come up with the little game plan and back to this you guys you, cherry there you go you guys you could literally at this point we, we've been here before you could come in airbrush spray gun whatever you could literally come in just shade right along all of these edges with whatever color you want literally shoot the color right over it boom you know let's just say we were going back to like the blue the cobalt blue come in with the cobalt blue then you could oriental blue over all of it you could be done or you could come back in add a little bit more you know some 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 more detail line wise it just matters i guess time wise money wise budget wise you know i mean it, it just matters what what uh you know what what do you have going on how much time do you want to invest in it how cool do you want it to look and don't get me wrong it'll look cool like that too but you could go like i say go the extra mile a little bit on a few things and like even with this we'll just we'll go kind of against this right there and then i could step back a little bit there or i could keep the the same space you know what i mean you could go there but you know what on this one i will i'm going to keep the same spacing of course i'm going to curve that in just a little bit but let's go here let me see how this is going to work though that one i might go in fact okay so i'm going to do the quarter on this side about an eighth of an inch away now i'm going to come back with the green for the accent just because my spacing here too close i don't want that quarter inch coming down i still want it to to have that nice little space there so i'm going to come same thing i'll go about man, maybe a little over a sixteenth of an inch in between an eighth of an inch spacing there i'm going to just barely curve it right there same thing this you can kind of do kind of quick. All this little stuff just adds detail. So back to this. Like I say, don't, don't, like I just said, you could, trust me, if you're just trying to like, you're first starting, you're like, hey, boom, let me do this. Like I say, you could just shoot right over these lines. That's cool. Or you could go the extra mile. So we're going to come back in, slice it dice it right there right there same thing right here lift that up there okay there same thing here i'll try to do this kind of quick same thing cut it right there boom okay then so same thing now I'm going to come do, I'm going to do kind of the same thing. I'm going to go right here. We'll do about an eighth of an inch away from that green with the tan quarter inch. Same thing over here. Just do it right away. That way you, right away you're like, got your mindsets. Okay, I'm doing about an eighth of an inch away with the quarter inch. Same thing there, boom. I'm going to come in with the, J tape 10, eighth inch, same thing. I'm gonna come in first, I'll run this one. About the eighth inch away, 16th inch. Same thing, just curve it right along. Same thing over here. I'll run that and then I'll go back and I'll turn that little top part there just in a second. Like I say, if anybody needs any material while the website's being built right now, you know, I don't know if anybody's coming on late, you know, we are really hoping to have the website up for tonight, but I, I really need to grasp, grasp that I need to quit. How do you put it? Beyond rushing it, try to do it right. My daughter's been helping me huge and, uh, if you need something, hit me up with what you need. 
I'll give you some more information about the prices on the clears. You know, back to that, I got, I can make any House of Colors formula too. You can put it in the inner coat clear, the formula, whatever. If you need Oriental Blue, Cobalt Blue, whatever you need, I can mix it in pints, quarts, and that's uh, inner coat clear, the formula. You add your own reducer, quartz, pints, whatever. I can mix you ready to spray. I can even mix you in finishing clear if you want. Kind of like the House of Colors urethane. Uh, but any color. Got silver, quartz. What do you think about resin epoxy on MDF boards? Man, that would work too. I mean, I, ha I haven't tried it, Dio, so I wouldn't. But man, I know like Sal, you know, with all the resin. And basically, it's like fiberglass resin like they're using. I mean, that's pretty much how he was flaking everything. But like the epoxy, like you see a lot of people. I see a lot of those ads on like Instagram for the epoxy. I mean, that would work too. I mean, but like I say, I haven't tried it, so don't take my word for it. But man, I even see people, they'll do all their artwork. Man, there's people like, like it'd be, let's say I finished this. And I see people, man, they're doing the pour resin and then brushing it. And it just flows, flows out. You know what I mean? And of course, that wouldn't work for a car. But for doing like these boards and the art projects, man, I could see that would work. You know what I mean? Okay, so... Cut there, cut there. Okay, so now same thing. So we did that. We're just accenting it. Like I say, I'm going to come in. Same thing. Okay, so same thing over here. I'm gonna go. Of course, this is getting a little, let me pull this down some. I'm gonna stretch way out. Stretchy McKelperton. About an eighth of an inch. And then same thing here, I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit. Turn this up just a little bit. And I'm gonna go into, so both of those were the eight. I'll come in, so we do got the space to do it with the green quarter right there. About an eighth away. Okay, coming in here. So more time you wanna spin, the more cooler it is. Not to say that you can do some really cool stuff in a short amount of time too. And there's a time and a place for everything. Like I say, of course I wish I'd have listened to my mom. Less is more. That never got in my head. Less is more money too. I know that sounds crazy, but it's, Spent my life just over, like almost back to that, like the tasteful overkill, adding more and more and more and more and more. All that more and more takes away from everything, from, from I mean, time-wise. Okay, so I'm gonna come down here. Same thing, so I already added there, there, there. This will be a quick, about the eighth inch, same thing. I'm gonna curve it right away. Oop. Curve it right away. Same thing I'm gonna do. In fact, this one I will do. It's kind of doing a little mismatch on the sizes. Kind of like we were talking about last week, like a lot of stuff, especially a lot of the designs when you're doing 
always tried to do for sure eighth inch quarter inch eighth inch it's stuff kind of people don't really see but you're wondering like man why does that look so cool because you did different tape sizes kind of just gives it a little more depth okay there to start masking okay let me see let me do Definitely appreciate you guys supporting tonight. It means a lot, man. With the super. Puff it out, Rudy. Puff it out, bro. Okay, this one, let me turn this in right away. A little bit. This here. Of course, you could come in with some 16th inch too. We're not going to, but... Uh, Cutting over those letters too, you want to try to not cut too deep. Okay. I think this one we'll probably leave we'll leave this one without going over the outlining it for non-car projects yep in fact let me see in fact this one i probably will let's do it is a little bit thick. Let's see. In fact, let me, do, let me see. For shoots and ladders. Nah, let me see. Do that one just a little bit fatter. Like I say, tomorrow too, crazy. Man, I appreciate that, Vince. Say tomorrow about 1 1 30 uh rome hartman from 60 minutes will be here just to talk with me and he'll be back next week next thursday something he's been wanting to do for uh five years the new mexico lowrider culture he reached out to me in 2000 uh beginning of 2020 and then of course covid hit and he's getting back on it so it'll be cool 60 minutes. Like I say, I'm not too much of a of a uh, 
news person. But this won't be fake news. Laugh out loud. I'm gonna go a little thicker right there. Definitely an honor. And he's gonna go up, uh, go up to Espanola for uh, Good Friday. He'll be here Thursday next week and then uh, with the whole film crew. As long as everything goes smooth and everything. Okay. Boom. Congrats, Rob. That's it. I appreciate it, my brother. Definitely, that's a huge thing, man. Uh, Okay, so I think we're pretty much done with the masking. Except for, I see one little area, of course. Where's Fat Lack? Is he still here? Since he's coming or? Oh yeah, I know that might be. So we'll, <laughs> I'll let you know too. Rudy brought up a point. We'll see, possibly might not be alive next Thursday. So I will definitely, uh, yeah, so uh, I'll keep you guys in the loop. But that's not 100%. And of course, the 60 minutes thing, it probably won't be ready. It takes them a while to put it all together. I'll be asking him tomorrow when he thinks it's going to come out. I would think three or four months. I mean, I don't know. How long it takes them. This one I'm going to outline. But I know most everybody. It's usually a three month leeway. Or even longer. But. Uh, that'll be pretty cool. I don't know how he's going to lay it out. What he's going to. What he's going to do. But. Uh, I'm just honored to be a part of it. Somebody sent him like the stuff from the Harwood Museum. And from the New Mexico Museum and uh, New Mexico Magazine, you know, recently. And uh, you can tell he likes uh, coming to, I went to his Instagram. He definitely likes New Mexico and comes quite a bit to Santa Fe and uh, other areas in New Mexico. And somehow, I don't know, I'm, you know, I'll be asking him some questions tomorrow too, like, hey... You know what? You know why would you want to come film New Mexico, the lowrider scene here in New Mexico? You know what I mean? I know that's a good one, brother Lloyd. I know, and that's crazy. Even it's crazy too. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Steve. And let let me tell you too. You know that was what man, and and of course that's Fred, uh, brother Fred from Espanola. They're in that video. And Brother Dio might be able to even say who else the other people were in that with MTV. And then what's crazy, 1998, MTV came out. They had a thing called Driving Through America. And uh, they had this, like, bloody bloke, VJ. You know, they're called VJs, the video DJ. They hit me up. This would have been 1998. They hit me up and they said, Hey, Rob, we're going to be coming through New Mexico with this uh, special... Uh, called Driving Through America. You know, it'd be it's 30 minutes. They'd play three videos. They'd interview wherever they were at. And they came through. So I was on MTV. It would have been 1998 in a half an hour special. Uh, and it was called Driving Through America. And let me tell you, this is another like little testimony. Whew. You know, I thought they were joking. Here we go. Three months later, you know, they'd call me. Yeah, Fred Rael. Sure enough, they had called me late. They had call, uh, called me like three months before and said, hey, we're going to be doing this show. Like I told you, Driving Through America. We want uh, Suzuki is donating uh, Suzuki, like little those little trackers back then. And they want you to do some flames on it. And, uh, and uh, sure enough, three months later, they call and they're like, hey, we're here. We're like an hour away. I had been up five days, no sleep. Let me tell you, no sleep. Five days, no sleep. 
needed to go home and go to sleep. And they're like, hey, we're here, we're an hour away. And I'm like, yeah, sure, pal. You know, I thought somebody was playing a joke. Sure enough, this RV MTV pulls up, all these people pull up, a whole filming crew with this towing a, a brand new Suzuki little tracker, uh, tracker deal. And sure enough, so I taped, did the flames overnight. The guy stayed interviewing me some. The next day they came interviewed me. But I got to say, it's probably the lowest part of my life. We're talking, you know, honestly, I look back on it and it's like, man, it's, it, I see myself. I mean, you can just tell I'm on meth. It's like answering the questions all crazy. But you know, it was cool as on MTV, but still, it's like one of those things you look back and you're like, man, whoo. What a rough part of life right there for sure. So this, you know me. I'm going to add a few lines in here. Put the tape down. Put the tape down. Let the little boy go and put the tape down, Rudy said. So I'm going to do that there. Same thing there. I'm gonna go in between here. Like I say, I don't even know the 60 minutes thing. You know, I just, you know, he's doing New Mexico, the New Mexico lowrider culture. So, you know, it's one of those things you never know how a story's gonna go. All we can do is try to shine a light in the midst of it. And like I always say, man, the culture has changed. You guys all know, too, from, you know, the gangbanging, drug dealing, you know, having a very bad stigma to where that being changed now to where it's like, it, it is back to the culture, back to the art. Thank God people are being represented like they should be, you know, versus look down on, uh, here comes somebody else in a lowrider. You know how everybody used to look down on us and, and you know, they had that stigma. Now it's like, man, check out that car. Look at how much time went into that thing. You know, lots of love went into it and and lots of heart. And it's like, you know, with the lowrider, I, man, no offense, but there's nothing like a lowrider. I mean, it's, you know, you love it or hate it. It's, 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 there's just, to me, there's nothing like it. Nothing can compare. Like I say, I always tell people, man, I can express myself to the fullest. There's no limits. You know, you're limited with a lot of other things. But uh, with the lowrider, it's like, man, it's like you can really express yourself without having to hold back. I mean, you want to do a tasteful too. Of course, and with me, I always called it tasteful overkill. But uh, I've been pulled up out at a gun point just having a nice car. Imagine that deal. Back in the day, remember they used to do it as Killer Dayton's? Remember the whole, uh, man, that used to be crazy. Literally, people were getting killed over the rims back in the day. And that's just crazy. So we have that. And you know what? Like I say, even with this, I could go in and cut those a little bit short. But I'm going to keep those there. Let's see here. Same thing here with that. Let's see here. I think that's pretty much. Okay. So now I'm going to mask. Here's the fingers. Okay, so let me move some of this stuff out the way. Now we're going to start getting crazy. That worked out though pretty good. Like I say, from having to thin it down 
I mean, having to spread it out. Of course, it'll make a lot more sense once we get spraying. Like I say, you really could just come back and spray colors right over the edge. Untape the next layer, untape the next layer. And of course, this is back to this trying to pick what's going to go what in a smart, trying to think smart. Here's the fingers. So right away, let me see, I'm going to mask this up over here. Same thing over here. real quick with this to get a couple of those little spots no need to waste that orange tape going down this one so three quarter inch spray your hand prints and let's see okay let's see we're gonna do that, let's see. So that'll be for that edge, for that edge. Break it down. <clears throat> Brother Rob, God never gives us more than he knows we can handle. We go through the valleys in life, but none of us knows our true destination and purpose only him. Amen, my brother. And let me tell you, you know, I, I don't know if you're around when I first started. Like I say, it's been a rough, it's been rough here. Let me tell you, brother. And a lot of it is because I'm trying to do things in my own strength, trying to rush things, which I mean, there's nothing wrong. You know, you got deadlines, you're trying to get things done. But man, there gets to a point where it's like, okay, this is, God, God does not want you all stressed out and all going crazy and it's like man that, that i mean that's just and i that's been one thing that's been like whoo you know i you know i'll admit it so that lack is still here maybe not what do we got I, I missed out on some combo somewhere there probably let's see brother cars and cars but a low rider is art boom 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 okay let's see so next so you got that tape to do that. I'm gonna go around that. I'm trying to think. Okay, let me try to think this out real quick. Here. Okay, there. So. Let me try to think this out backwards real quick here. Smart taping. Okay, so we do this.
So I guess to my brother Ethan, I should probably elaborate a little bit better. There's some, like you said, God will never, let me see what you put, knows what we can handle. So there's a difference between him allowing a trial that, that's him. And then there's like, say like me were, I guess the best way to put it, self-inflicted trials where God had no part of that trial, but he will be in there with you. But uh, where you've kind of brought it upon yourself. And that's what I would say even for myself, where it's like, man, you know, I've, a lot of, you know, it's like, man, just chill out. Things are going to work out. Trust God. He's got a plan. And I'm talking that just in general, even not just like what I have going on. You know, just trying to get things going and I mean all the little roadblocks and all kinds of nonsense. It's just been one thing after another, but it's like some of it's self-inflicted. It's like, man, chill out. I didn't cut I didn't call you to go through all of that craziness. I watched two of your live videos after you had already laid already put them out. And I did a small scale license plate. Tried my hand at it. I'm pretty proud of it. Hey, man, I might have seen, I don't know, was that on Instagram? Did you post it, my brother Ryan? Like, like three weeks ago or a month ago? Like I say, I wish people could share. We'll be having that real soon. Like I say, everything's just time. Yep, yeah, I seen that, man. It looked really good. I know, and even my brother Martin... The one who came and helped me today, he's on here, Martin V. Man, he, he went and did last week's on a way smaller, same thing, a smaller scale, trying to shrink it down. And it looked really good too. You know, it's back to that, like I say, where I drew this one out to go long, you had to kind of shrink it. And you got to kind of, you know, like you say with the license plate, they'll have a choice to either go to the left or go to the right. Okay, so boom, let me... Break out white paper. This is my tape machine. All the years I've never had a tape machine. I've been like the anti tape machine guy. I'm like, I'll do it on my own with that one. Back to that whole pride thing. It's almost like, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call it? You got like a, a bulldozer, but you're gonna dig the hole with the shovel. Stubborn, fat lack, there you go. Prideful, stubborn pride. I can do it this way. Just like, you know, this is something, this is a good point to make too. You know, we all get stuck in our ways, especially the older we get. And I gotta say really with pain and body, I don't care, this doesn't even apply almost to, I mean, this is in general pain and body and in, even in life. Or it's like you've done it this way for 35 years and I'm not gonna change. Even though the, you know, somebody shows you a different way of doing it. And I got to say, like with the pattern class, you know, having a bunch of amazing artists, seeing everybody do things a different way. You're like, man, wow. I'm like, I've been doing it this way this whole time. That is like way easier. Of course, some things are going to stick with the way you've done it. I mean, that's just... Let's see, I'm by no means ready for large scale. I have some rattle can stuff and an airbrush. Boom, boom, boom. Man, and definitely, let me tell you, there's quite a few people on here. Let me tell you, Ryan, brother John Martin that's on here. He does, uh, 
heat kind of same thing, part rattle can, part, uh, you know, with an airbrush, he does guitar pickups. You know, he takes the pickups apart, rebuilds them. Man, he, he does them. And of course, you know, I set him up with, uh, to a little bit, uh, you know, send him a little, you know, just enough for him to do what he does. Tori's he's still doing it with, uh, you know, the real candy, you know, the real paint, instead of messing with the spray cans. This is a part of learning, like you say, you know, it's, you know, you're stepping up, you don't want to really waste no good stuff yet. But man, definitely, like I say, definitely figure out on a small scale, get you set up. Little, you don't want no leakers right there. Okay, boom. Let's do maybe, let me do here. Okay, let me take this up. I'm trying to do it smart so we can spray the next one. Yeah, John Martin, looking forward to doing bigger stuff, yep. So it's a matter of just building up, building up. Especially you want to be cost effective too. Towards the most cost effective. And of course, you know, like a lot of people, like even with my brother John, it's like, man, if you're if you're not really doing like some big stuff, there's no need to buy, you know, a bigger amount. But I gotta say, a bigger amount would save a lot of money. If you got money to buy, like let's say like a gallon of clear. You're going to do a bunch of license plates or guitar pickups or whatever it is. And a lot of people doing the cuffs or the crosses. That gallon's going to last you a long time versus buying quartz. Even though that'll work too. Get you a nice little stock, you know, like most of us do. Where you get all the colors, nice little stock up of everything you need. It's kind of like, how would you put it? going to uh you go buy a single thing of toilet paper and you can buy 20 for way cheaper but it is back to everybody's budget too and then some people if you're just trying it you might not even like it there's people that go this is a good point here man there's people right away they'll like man i want to do that and they'll go buy all this i mean a compressor they'll go all out go buy everything and they're like, man, I don't even really like doing this. And I bought all this stuff. I mean, trust me, I've done that with all kinds of stuff too, personally. And you're like, man, I really don't even like doing this. I mean, that applies too to a bunch of different stuff too. But, uh, okay, so now, like this will be ready. Then I can untape that. Boom. This will be right here. Boom, boom, boom. What's up, girl? What's happening? How's it going? I was watching your mind. It looks fantastic. All right. Did you did you jack uh, Grandpa's phone for a minute there? I called his little buddy and he called me Stinky Dog. Oh, really? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Okay, 1030. Huh. Yeah, little buddy. Want another water? Okay, I'm going to tape up probably one more. Kind of in between. We'll keep that one there. So I'm going to probably do this one strategically. Laugh out loud. So let me... I will do... So let me go right here first with the...
There you go. Get a hood from a junkyard. That's a theater. Like what Linda's trying to do too. Just some wood. But do something. That is a good one. Old hood. Oops, I'm ready to. Ooh. Okay. It, dice it. Let me just right there. Same thing. Go across this real quick. Put this right here. Shaky Jake. Okay, and of course, now that I'm seeing that, let me uh, take this up real quick here. I did some crosses today. Got them from Hobby Lobby for five bucks each. Heck yeah, buddy. Man, they used to have, let me tell you, they used to have at Hobby Lobby, they had the, tw the two foot ones and they like discontinued them. And they used to, have, those are 24 bucks for the two foot ones and then I would always wait for them to go on the 50% to have the 50% up. And you know, Hobby Lobby used to have the, uh, where you could use the one time 50% off coupon or 40% off. And they quit doing that. But they do have the 50% off sale from time to time in different sections, of course. And uh, man, those two foot crosses used to be nice. Good for you, brother Rob. Let's see. Okay, so let me try to one if I want to. You know what? Uh, I forgot about the turn. I should have just did this and then taped it. Watch. That's all right. Go as you go. So boom. Okay. And of course, this angle it's a little crazier. Okay, let me see. So make sure I got that. How I want it. Oh yeah, that's the only thing here though. Same thing. We're almost ready to start spraying though. I'm full of questions tonight. She said, laugh out loud. Could I use plexiglass with the paint you sell? You know, you probably really could. If it sanded right, you shoot the candies that would look really cool. Like Lexan, plexiglass. Let me tell you, Linda, like say with the candies over the plexiglass, see through and then clear it. I spent 98, 99 stations at Kirkland. I absolutely loved my time in New Mexico. Still miss it still. That would be way cool though, Linda. Honestly, and if you did scuff it, sanded it right, it would end here. And then to clear it again, it's almost like a lot of people, you can do the, you can uh, sand tail lights, re-clear them. Of course, you know, a lot of people will buff them, but man, some of the older ones to restore them. And send the tail lights down, send some of the scratches out, clear them. 
And I spent 98 and 99 stationed at Kirkland. Where are you at now, my brother David? You're up there. Uh... Appreciate it, Michael. Okay, so I'm thinking... Thinking we're pretty... See if I can want to tape up one more. No, we got that there. I think we're good. I think so. Okay. So here we go. Like I said, we're gonna be going with three different greens. And of course, we're gonna shoot some white though, of course, first. We'll shoot some white in some of these places. Make sure I got my tech rag. Turn on those fans already if you would, brother. I'm gonna tape up one more little spot to do something right here. I think I'm gonna real quick just in this little spot. I think we'll do a little bit of marble right in that section. Okay, let me grab. Do a little bit of marble right in that spot. Bakersfield. Bakersfield. Okay. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the marble with some black. I'm gonna do some little bit of marble with the white. And I just use literally Dollar Tree bag. You know, I always try to position it kind of good. That's honestly what I've used forever. Or I'll use real thin. Uh, Real thin uh, drop cloth. And you want to kind of spray it kind of wet. And you put up the volume, lower the pressure. I'll usually let it set a second to get the best. Of course, you're not gonna see it too much because it's white, but this will be one of those things it's just gonna pop. Actually, it shows up pretty good on the screen. I'm looking at the screen. It's really important to kind of reposition. You always want to try to reposition it. Get some nice wrinkles in there. Spray it wet, like I say. 
put it down, let it set a second, lift it up, depending on what you're using. So let me, I'm gonna go just a little bit with the white right along the edge. I gotta dial it back in because I adjusted it to kind of spray pretty wet. I'm just gonna go right along that edge right there. Same thing over here. Okay. That's a done deal right there. Simple. Let's see, minor. It's like a face at the bottom right. I know it kind of does, yep. The big hair that likes it, that's funny. Okay, so next, now I am gonna go a few other places with the white. Just kind of around. You dial in. Let me think exactly. Same thing here, in fact, before. Let me. Same thing, let me just right here. I'm not gonna do marble, but something else. Well, that one's pretty close to being masked up. tear this up right here just for that little spot right there except for man, one little crack though right there right there okay okay let me see real quick here let me grab see we'll do a see if this is what I want to do one of these days we'll actually do the taped fingerprints but I already do enough taping on these it's like man that would be a whole nother little mission let me see this is what I even want to do Oh, man, I appreciate that mental on there. Man.
I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna line it up like right here with that. We'll see how this works. Then I'm going to do this, flip it over this way. Then just this bottom part, I tried to cut it up because at the end, thank God the letters are right there. So I'm gonna go just a little bit here. And I'm gonna flip it the same thing on this side. We'll do the same thing. Okay, now I'm gonna get a little bit of black. I'm gonna try to match this back up. We're gonna move it just a little bit. So this side is this side. Let me see. Nope, this one was this side. Right there. Kind of what we've been doing. So I'm gonna match it up. And then I'm gonna barely move it over a little bit. And these are the things you guys really can't see it sad until you see it in person. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna flip it over, line it up. Like I said, you can kind of see where the white, I moved it, it kind of gives that 3D look, you know what I mean? When mixing candy, concentrate to clear. What's the best or fast, best, fast or medium reducer? Honestly, so that, there'd be, if you're doing something small, it's winter time. Uh, and of course to clear coat, with, when you say clear coat, do you mean like uh, inner coat clear or finishing clear? If it's finishing clear, make sure that that clear will take a reducer or you'll get some dieback. Some clears you can add 10% a little bit. If it's inner coat clear, then uh, depending on the temperature, if it's winter time, you can use a fast, summertime, medium, slow, or else it's gonna be really dry. And then you have chances of it peeling. Nice. David Allen, what's happening, my brother? Isn't that the design that was sprayed with the rose stencil? I think it comes in the same pack. But yeah, it's that same, same kind of, same, uh, same aspect. So same thing here, there, Flip over. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back real quick. Break out, time to be breaking out the tech rig. I'm gonna come back in with a little bit of the black by itself.
just real quick along the edge. Okay, boom, boom, boom. In fact, while that's taped up, let me let me just go over that. Take advantage of it taped up real quick. Get a little color on there real quick. Okay. Now you want, want to be careful on taping it too. You don't want to untape some of the, since we got it kind of already layered, you want to be careful that you're not untaping something you don't want untaped. Same thing, be real careful. See there, I'm pulling up a little bit there. So then usually when, oh yeah, we'll wait up. So then I'll tear from right here, I'll go this way. Once you, sometimes you get the end of one of those, it's hard to let go of it. So I'll split it right in half. Tear from one end, one to the left, to the right. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so. Now I'm gonna come back with a little bit of the white. Detail right in that little deal there. that's going to only end up with two that is just not okay so i'm going to do the same thing over here thank you lisa appreciate you um so i'm going to do this here how's it even going how you doing lisa Careful there. So all I'm doing here, I'm gonna just barely shoot with the white just to about there. I'm gonna only go to about right there. Same thing here. This would just be a cool little hologram, kind of hologram effect. Boom, that's it. All this just adds detail. It's like one of those things, man, this is something I always see. I see people do stuff and just as me 
man, I'm like, man, if they would have just spent another, like, five minutes, they could have added, you know what I mean? They could have just, I know, had too hot, Brother Steve. Could have just added, like I say, a little, little more detail. Especially little stuff like that ends up real tasteful. It's like, man, a little bit of white, it'll pop out, really glow. Okay, so now... Real quick with this, let me dial it down a little more. Let me tell you, in a lot of these guns, you guys would be like, man, I'm good. I started to paint my board that's taped up and hoping to finish this weekend. All right, man, I'm excited for you. So boom, I'm just literally going right there. A little bit here too. Then I'm gonna come right here to, ooh, except for see little leak through. See, I tore that. A little leak through. Always go back and check. So here I am too going. I'm gonna come just a little bit with the white over that. Same thing right here. Right here. Okay, and then, same thing here, a little bit. A little bit right there. This could have, you could have went over this too with the, a different color candy. I'm just trying to get in a few of those whites. Same thing here. A little bit of the white right in there. One more time. Right there. One more time over it right there. And then I'm gonna go just a little more right here. Same thing right here one more time. Okay. Now, let me see, let me break back out with that green. I know that free time is, uh, woo, let me tell you, then you get all psyched up and you, you get all psyched up and it's like, man, eh, it's, it's hard to get back into something. You need to set aside like a certain amount of time to, to really like stay focused and get it done. And if not, you'll like, how do you put it? Like almost everything. I'm so much like that too. You start something then you don't finish it. And it's like, and so much time goes by, sometimes you're like, man. Let me dial this down a little bit. I'm gonna go over that with the green right there. I'm gonna still candy over the whole thing though. Over here, strategically. Same thing. And I'm going back over this.
on. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, brother. Ooh, let me plug in that. My pad's getting ready to go down here on battery wise. Three. Okay. Let me see here. This will start coming to life here. Thank you, my brother Dio. Appreciate it, brother. left to right thing. I'm gonna go just real quick here. I was gonna do a few, but I'm just doing Break out with another. This would be some organic green here.
Okay, now, let's see, I'm gonna undo this one here. Same thing, you always want to be careful when you're peeling up. You don't want to peel up. Too much. Okay, let's see here. Okay, then might as well do this too. Hey, there you go, the Emerald City, buddy. I know, and it kind of does with all those turns, especially when we do some shading. We start getting the shading. It's going to start moving along pretty quick here. Uh, Let's see here. Same thing, I'm gonna just shoot a little bit of white. For sure, the crystal, definitely need to do that. I have a, I have a huge bottle of it here. That'll have to be definitely a night. We do it for sure, the crystal. My brother, uh, Nick, from uh, 
Nick Rossi from uh, Corpus Christi, when he came out for the class two years ago, he made a batch. He brought all the stuff it took to make it homemade. And he left me with a big old bottle of it. So I'm going to position this about right here. I'm not going to fill the whole thing. I'm only going to fade some in. And then see this here is starting to... I'm going to press that down a little bit. I don't want no leak throughs, but I am going to line that up about right there. I'm going to shoot to about right there. I'm going to get it kind of heavy right there, but I'm not going the whole way. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to line it up about the same. Let me see how I did that real quick. Check out my lines. Okay, so I went all the way to there. Let's do over here. The same thing. side. I'm going to flip it over one more time. I'm going to hit it one more time. Try to line it back up. Okay. Now I'm going to get the black same thing. I'm gonna move it over just, just enough to get that 3D effect. I'm gonna do both sides the same though. I'm gonna kind of get it and I'm gonna turn it down some. That's a whole other thing too. I mean, there's no really rules to that. Most definitely. So most of us always spray the, the whatever black first and then we'll candy over it or the white. But yeah, you could definitely do that. And you would even get some more depth even probably with that, my brother Shooter Chief. So this one, I'm gonna come back just with the black instead of white right here. Too, even though we're going to shoot it a little black along that anyway here in a minute. I just want it to be a little bit darker there. I'm 
tech reg time. I'm just going to eye it right through the middle. Same thing. Eye it kind of right in the middle. Same thing. I'm going to go about the quarter inch away. Same thing there. No skid marks on in this. Just the, the little, uh, the little uh, fades up. So same thing. It's about a quarter of an inch away. This is a little stuff that, man, adds so much detail in some of those empty spots. And it's just a quick, you know, something really quick. Of course, I'm starting to get up the kilter there. Fix this one. Like I say, I'm shaky. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm going to do, honestly, you know what? I'm going to keep it at those three. Just say no to the empty spots. I know. I need help, brother. You, you're like a bad influence. You're one of those guys, even though I'm going to do it anyway. You're one of those, you're one of those, uh, uh, what do you call it? What do you call those people? They're the peer pressure people. The triple dog dares. What would you call it, Rudy? Instigator. Yeah, the instigators. You know what? I am. I'm keeping it at three for sure on that one. So then I am going to come back. Like I said, I would usually go with the white. But we're going to do this a little mismatching. Steve said, ha ha. You know, like, uh, let's do it. You can do it. I'm literally just going to kind of come up a little bit, not all the way to the top, same thing, a little bit heavier, just kind of fade up a little bit, same thing, kind of want to make sure it's equal, make sure you kind of went up about the same distance, it's easy to go a little too far. Come up just barely a little bit with this.
Okay. Now we're going to untape this last one here. Okay. And then Barely trying to tint it just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Night, my brother Dio, or whoever, uh, 9505, probably, uh, all my brother James. Little green marble in the corner. Tech Greg, real quick. Same thing, let's do. In fact, you know what? Watch. Let's give it a quick. Okay, so we, let me see here. Should have taped, man, I should have taped this, but. Real quick. So we just tape that up, figures. 
those are the things you change your mind real quick at the last minute. You're like, okay, I don't think so. Okay, good enough there. So now, we're gonna do some basket weaving just in this section. So with basket weaving, you wanna get pretty close to each other. The whole way across. probably did three quarter inch but you know how we do it Okay, so gonna pull out every other one. This is a basket weaving. So I'm gonna pull out this one, this one, this one, this one, that one. Same thing. I'm gonna pull out this one. This one, this one, this one, and this one. So now, this is where you kind of want to mark when you're doing basket weaving. Like say, I want to kind of go straight across this. I'm going to try to go, and then you want to keep a decent gap. So I'm going to go, man, I probably should do it a little bit further down. There, there. Hey everybody, man, my phone died. Let me tell you. Thank God it restarted again. Okay, is it the right direction though? Yep. Is that positioned all right? Watch, it should be. Let me see. Is it? Boom! Back in action. Wow, that's it. So we tested that tonight. Let me tell you guys, the phone died. I thought for sure we were done. And I plugged it back in and sure enough, wow, it came back on. Well, now, now we know that. Except for it still, still looks frozen on my side. Yeah, there we go, maybe. Okay, okay, so now, as long as we're back in action, how's it look, all right? Yeah. Looks a little crooked, though. Okay, so now, guys, thank God, man, that would have been so, so discouraging figure. Woo, this thing dirty. Let me tighten this real quick, guys. Give me a quick second. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna go right in between, right in between those spots. Is it working? Yeah. Carry. So same thing, I'm gonna go right in between. Pretty good.
right in between up here same thing right there I'm gonna come down below right here at the bottom now this is gonna be cool I'm gonna untape it man I'm glad you guys whoo that's a good one in fact I'm gonna just back now nah, let me tear them off one at a time let's see if that no, we will. Let's see. I'm going to do the one pull. Boom. Very bro. Little basket weave. Do a little tack. Is it still working? Yeah. Okay. That looks a little slow over here. Minus two. Yeah, my iPad's a little slow. I like that. Boom. That weave is cool. Looks all blurry too, like those blurry shoes. Boom, boom, boom. Or the blurry, uh, those shirts I used to make. Get out and come back in, Eli. Boom. Steven Mara, that's fire. Thank you, my brother. Okay, so we're pretty much, we're moving along. Is my brother uh, Vince still on here? Let's see. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back. I got some kind of some uh, limish green that I made. Let me open up the fan. I'm going over the whole thing with this. That's kind of a lime green. Lime goldish, greenish. Okay, now I'm going to pull up this. Man, I can't believe it turned back on. I thought for sure we were done. Wow. That's good to know. That's like an emergency power generator came back on. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> In fact, I should have peeled this up from this way. Makes it way easier instead of it snagging a bunch of stuff there. Let me see. How about my brother Vance, is he on here? I know and uh, internet company was just trying to help a brother get some sleep. That's funny. <laughs> I was gonna ask him if uh I know she he was saying she likes uh she likes brown too. I was just gonna put brown in here, but I don't know. I mean that's like uh then we're gonna start on taping and doing the over and unders real quick. Brother Vince, Brother Vince, 
Calling Brother Vince. Almost two. No, oh, that's crazy. Well, I'm going for it. Yes, he said. Going down? Yep, just in this spot. <laughs> Come on, little buddy. Oh, little buddy. Okay, make sure there's no leak throughs. And honestly, I hate to say, well, I don't hate to say, but I'm just gonna go right there just in case. Make sure there's no leak throughs there. And then I'm going to Real quick, white right here. Boom. Okay. Then. I know that brown. Yep. I know, and I do the brown. I always get uh, Home Depot. For bins and turns, honestly, brother, I mean, it just depends. Vinyl will turn really good. Like I say, you can use a heat gun. You can get the masking the masking tape to, to turn really good, too. Let me put one more coat right here. Almost wish I would have saved another spot for brown. But that's all right. We got right the heart of it. Should have saved like a little spot somewhere, you know, a couple little spots. Okay. So here we go. We are going to start. So we'll do here. With the rolling pin. Let me pull this down a little bit. So boom. Boom.
gonna barely hit with a little bit of black. This is where an airbrush really would come in. I know, wait till it starts getting untaped, man. It is gonna look kind of like a cathedral. That's kind of like the, so I'm gonna pull. This is our next step here. This is where the layering. First one, I mean the last one taped. The first one unsprayed. Man, this is where it's gonna really start coming to life. It'll be pretty quick too. I know we're getting late again. It's like me, I didn't even have time to get stuff ready at the house for homeboy from 60 minutes to come. It's like, man. I know I ain't coming to film till next Thursday, but I'm not be nice to have stuff somewhere ready instead of craziness. Brother Johnny, what's happening? Late night tattooing, still at it. So excited to get spraying soon. New guns and all. All right, my brother. I know your package should be there tomorrow or Monday or not tomorrow. Yeah, Saturday or it showed Saturday, but it might not be there till Monday unless you get deliveries. I'm trying to think what I think. I'm gonna come back just a little bit. This is where an airbrush really would help out some. I'm gonna come in strategically. And pull it down a little bit. Sure I get enough where I want it. Okay, next one. Okay. Oh. Great time. I am. I'm going to, let's see here. And I want a little more, a little more black right there. little more black right here I'm gonna do just one okay. and this I'm gonna do a little first right with this one still gonna have to go over it a little bit 
I still got to untape that other one. Okay, and then right where it goes through that little edge, same thing. Same thing over here. Okay. Of course, we'll end up getting that one. Okay, so next. So now next one is going to be this one. Of course, wait up though, I want to, so this is definitely, let me curve this up first. So I'm gonna do this before I take the rest off. I need to shoot that up real quick. That. So same thing, a little bit here. And then I'm going to actually come in a little bit around that turn. A little bit around the turn. A little more. Okay. Now I can undo. I'll start it from up here. Tack rag time. Okay, and then now here, let's. one here filling that up same with right here fill that up and go right here later same thing I'm gonna curl it a little bit there same thing over here Same thing, now this can come off. Across there, all the way down. Same thing. Okay, and then this one can go up there. And go here. Now I need to get right there and right there. That one you could, I'm like this to get it a little bit cleaner. This side I will go. Same thing, a little bit right there. And this one here. We come down that a little bit. Same thing here. A little, not too crazy. Now this piece, same thing. I'm gonna do that up right to there. Right 
right there. First, before I go across the whole thing, I'm gonna hit it real quick, just with a little bit. Right there. And then I'm gonna come across it just a little bit. Right there, same thing. Come around that a little bit. Okay. And now this. Boom. Okay, tech rag again, tech rag, tech rag. Okay. Okay, the finger tap. Let's see. How about that? Uh, okay. In fact, this can come through. Okay. Shadow up that, shadow up the red for sure. Man, and I'm almost. <laughs> My candy green over that, man. I don't know who writes next to him. He's talking to you. That's how that brother Astro. I know, I'm, I'm probably. Almost making an executive decision to make that real dark green. His brother Vince, my brother Astro, is Vince still around? He's asleep. <laughs> He's asleep? Yes, sir. Astro got you. We're making an executive decision. That's just standing out too crazy to me. We're almost there. Thank you guys for hanging in. I know he said his granddaughter likes brown and green. Nah, I'm just not... digging it right there man so you could either at this point you could literally wipe it green it or we could make it a real dark green I know so
executive decision. Strategically go in. time with the new one fold it sorry if you're getting my head I'm actually going to go with that uh, limeish. Thank you. direction. about right there slice it dice it come on little buddy for a second. Way better with that fan going on. Woo! <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. So now I'm gonna come along this one pretty decent. Okay, and then now this up here, I'm gonna peel this back and go right here. Let me put this back this way so I can just fade a little bit this way. Okay. Boom, let me slide this back even. Okay. Come on there, little buddy. Boom. Okay. So now I'm just gonna shade a little bit right here. Kind of come along this just a little bit. Now this can come out. Okay. Tack rag time. Now I'm going to come back, in fact, let me go, let me just go in with a little bit of the green. And then a little bit of black around. Couple times. And same thing, I'm going to come across a little bit of black, make it look like all that's kind of going down under, same thing up here. You know what? Let me go one more time. A little bit on the inside.
guys are still on here, please like and subscribe too. Appreciate you guys. Like I say, if you, uh, the website, brand new, was hoping to have it up tonight, but absolutely not. I need to give that one to the Lord for sure. My daughter's working super hard on that one. So we're going to say a grand opening next week. New logo, a whole bunch of different stuff too. But if you do need something, please hit me up. My phone number is in the description on this live. Be like, hey Rob, man, what's up? I need some Interco Clear. Hey Rob, I need some silver. Hey Rob, I need some whatever it is. Hit me up and I will get it together and, uh, Give you the price and get it shipped out to you that way i can keep the wheels going till then okay boom 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 man that is looking way cool man yep yeah, way cool sweet brother lloyd said huh you're putting the thing in that brown. Yep. Mm -hmm. No, man. Thank God it changed the brown, really. Yep. I'm going to do the border. We'll shoot some clear. We'll turn up the light so we can see that pop. All of those hologram. Boom. Oh, yeah. Sign it. I don't think that one works. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay, boom. Man, those, and we haven't done really no greens. Definitely 3D looking. And wait till I turn up the lights, Curtis. In fact, watch. I need to clean. I'm going to wipe my uh, lens off. It starts getting a little overspray on it okay so let me see here really sick yeah. man thank you my brother Dio thank you guys let's see here come on little baby see that Man, I can't even believe next weekend's even Easter weekend. Man, that's crazy. Okay. Okay, let me mix up some clear real quick. Stick with me for a minute.
Come on, let's see here. Emerald City, buddy. Thank you, Brother Dale. All righty, let's see tech reg time. I'm going to put a duster on. Came up pretty clean, no adhesive. This one now. Okay. I'm gonna put a kind of medium dry lock it down we'll let this just tack a second and I'll pour one on and then we will pop off uh, We'll turn up the light. Man, I definitely appreciate you guys tuning in too, man. Really appreciate you guys. I know that white does pop. Home of the Seahawks. Boom, boom, boom. And it's going to be really holographic. When we turn up that light, watch.
put it on there. All right, let's, uh, I'm gonna get down the phone. We're gonna turn up the light. Yep. Man. I'm gonna walk around. Thank you, my brother Michael. Get this angle of it. It's crazy how this side, like I say, you don't really see the whites, just a little bit. Thank you, Lisa. See all the colors and then I'm gonna come around. And just those whites start popping. You see how that works? Man, it's like, come this way. And it's like they're not really there. You know what I mean? Then you come back this way, the angle away from the light. You see how 3D those look? And then that white marble even. And then look at, see how 3D that looks? Thank you, Alejandro. Boom. Thank God we changed that. Uh... Man, and that even that basket weaving. Man, thank you, brother Johnny. Appreciate you, brother. Man, that does, man. Came out really good, man. I, I appreciate you guys coming, staying, uh, you know, with me late tonight. I know this is a good one. What is it? 12.31. We're almost breaking a record from three weeks ago. But man, it really came out good. Definitely, I appreciate you guys, man. We'll go out with some prayer too. And like I say, definitely, uh, you know, uh, like I say, we're working hard to get everything up. I understand if you got to buy stuff somewhere else. But man, if you're able to wait, I, I really appreciate it. Like I say, definitely appreciate it. Like I say, we'll have a... Thank you, my brother, Stephen. Appreciate you, my brother. Man, this is sick, man. OMG, game over. Man. Definitely. Watch, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to kind of... Thank you, Linda. Yeah, it does pop pretty darn good, man. Well, definitely, let's go out. Let's go out with some prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord. First and foremost, we just thank you. I thank you for my uh, YouTube family here, Lord. I pray just over them. I pray blessings over them. I pray uh, just if somebody doesn't know you, that they would come to know you, Lord. I pray that you would use us in a mighty way, Lord. I just pray... Uh, just that you continue to open up some doors, Lord. Help us to have patience in those areas, Lord, especially myself. And like I say, I just, I thank you for my brothers and just appreciate it. And we thank you, Lord, for everything you do for us. Without you, we are absolutely nothing. Thank you for giving us the skills and the talents to make things look beautiful. The gifts that you've given us. We know you've given some people certain gifts and you've given others other gifts. So I pray you encourage them as well. We just thank you, Lord, and we give you praise. And I thank you for everybody that supports. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Thank you, guys. Love you guys, and I appreciate you guys so much. You guys have a good weekend. And I really appreciate you guys. Definitely. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate you guys. Thank you, Dale. Thank you, Linda.